Ciao everyone. I just got my uh, MX uh, Logitech keyboard, uh, and I didn't open it yet. So I wanted to do just an unboxing video. Uh, I won't go into the de details of using it and all that kind of stuff because uh, there are plenty of videos. But I just wanted to to show you what is in the box and just a few comments uh, uh, about uh, the keyboard. So first of all, this is uh, a Bluetooth and um, uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard. It's the international U.S. international version. Uh, the cool part of this keyboard is that you can uh, buy it for your specific uh, uh, location. Uh, so I choose to to get the U.S. international, and it also is cool because it's good for Mac or Windows. Uh, has uh, you know uh, specific buttons and stuff. Um, and you can also use it uh, for three different devices connected to, to the keyboard. The only thing that I don't like about this keyboard is that the cable that you use to recharge it uh, cannot be used as a, you know, a wired uh, uh, keyboard. You know, sometimes, uh, um, sometimes maybe you get in, in a situation where you just want to use the cable, uh, maybe because your computer has problems with Bluetooth or whatever, you know? So let's open the box. I got my tools in here. Okay. One. Let's see if I can open just from one side. Um, So the box is pretty cool. Big MX on top of it. And you open it. Okay. Now first of all, there are some instructions right on the box. So basically, like you, how you turn it on, that you can connect uh, um, via Bluetooth or via the dongle. To a computer or to a laptop or whatever you're trying to use it, and then you can even configure it with the software uh, with specific keys and stuff. And here is how you how you switch between different devices. On top of the keyboard, there are three different uh, keys, and there is there are logos of computers. So you basically just push one of the buttons and you can connect to the specific uh, device that you, you, you want to. So uh, it can be a computer or I think it, it works even with the iPads and stuff. And it's similar to the, to the mouse, MX, I have the MX3 uh, mouse. So on the bottom of the mouse, you have one, two or three. Uh, you can connect via Bluetooth to three different uh, devices. Right now I have number two for my laptop and number one is for my workstation. So basically a similar, uh, similar method. Let's open here. Let's remove. Oh, okay. Let's put it here. Here on the bottom, there is the small dongle, which is actually the same one that I use for my. Uh, for this mouse on my workstation, it's, since it's a Hackintosh, my Bluetooth doesn't work. So for this guy, I use the the dongle. And what is inside this box? Uh, let's put this guy back. So inside the box, there are some literature, and then there is the charging cable. So this is just a charging cable, not uh, a data cable. And it's a USB 
USB-C. There are some literature, uh, nothing, nothing important. Nobody reads manuals anymore. So, okay. So I'll put it on the side. I mean, oh, dongle. And let's see. Let, let me move the box on the side here. And there's all this paper, which I think is a waste, but that's me, just me. Uh, the, the keyboard is actually, and it's surprising me, pretty, pretty heavy. So let me put it here. So here there is a, you know, the advertisement for the mouse, for this mouse. Which is cool, so okay. And here is the keyboard, so it's pretty heavy. I don't know uh, exactly how much I have to figure out, but this is like uh, probably two more than 200 grams, probably 300 grams is more. Uh, so, here are the specific. Uh, uh, OS keyboards, you know, opt and start, uh, what else, uh, okay, escape keyboard here, you know, command and alt here, and here are the key, the keys to switch devices, one, two, and three, so you can connect three different devices. I choose the full size, so on the back, let's see on the back, on the back there is no, nothing, uh, so you connect uh, here via USB-C here, you, and you, there is a button uh, with the with the red indication if it's off and and green if it's on. Okay. So the keyboard is on now, and there is a uh, you know there is lights. Okay, which I usually don't use. So you can turn it off like this or like this. I usually keep it all off. And it's blinking probably because he wants to connect. So that's it. Now it's flashing this guy because I need to connect it via Bluetooth. Let's see if I can just uh, do a quick connect here on Bluetooth. Uh, yeah. So I pair it via Bluetooth and it's uh, showing a code. Let me type the code for. And it's connected. There's a keyboard assistant software. Okay, well, I have to go through the whole process, but, you know. So, there's not much to say about this keyboard. Everybody uh, is getting one of these guys because they're really good. Um, the only thing is pretty heavy. Uh, the cable does not connect. Uh, it's not a data cable, so you cannot use it to to make the keyboard a wire keyboard. There are some cases where you want to do that. Uh, so it connects via Bluetooth or using the dongle. And that's it. So uh, please leave a like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I have more uh, coming. And um, please leave a comment if you have one. And uh, I'll see you on next video. Ciao.